Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a fire effect. So let's say you wanna have like nice, like, let's say you wanna have like a nice fire effect like coming on the screen. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. It's really simple guys. So it's, you just follow this really quick tutorial and I would say let's jump straight into the video. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, we are in Sony Vegas and the first thing that you actually wanna do to actually get a fire effect, uh, you wanna go to YouTube, you wanna type in fire black background. Boom. Then you want to pick a fire effect with a black background. That is what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to look for like this one looks pretty good. This one looks nice. Let's see if I have some more footage of fire. Okay, this looks nice. So what you want to do is you want to download this video to your computer. You can use whatever you want, but I'm just going to use a free make video converter. It's like a really nice free software to download any videos to any format you can think of. So I'm going to free make video converter. What you want to do is you want to just paste the link in and then you want to actually select the format that you want to download it to. I'm just going to stick with MP4 because I think that is just, you know, my main uh, like choice of uh, like video formats. So as you guys can see, this is free make video converter. It's a free program and I'm just going to, you know, add in the link from the YouTube video, as you can see. And then I can choose all different, you know, freaking formats like AVI, uh, WMV, Apple, DVD, MPEG2, MP4, MP3. So I'm just going to pick MP4 and I'm going to save this in the folder of my Sony Vegas tutorial of this one. So I'm going to just call the fire, click on save and I'm going to click on I'm going to pick the you know the quality HD and I'm going to click on convert and now I'm actually downloading the video and as soon as this video is downloaded and ready it's going pretty fast as you can see I'm just going to show you guys how to apply this one and how to put it on your video that you can see through it and that you have only yourself with the fire like no no spaces or black bars between the fire the edge of your video so I'm going to show you guys the conversion is already completed so what you want to do is you really want you want to go to the folder this is the video as you can see in this one and you want to drag that into Sony Vegas. So once you have dragged in your fire footage, um, the first thing that you see is like the fire is really nice but as you can see it's like a little bit dark gray instead of black. So what I want to do to, to, to change that is when you click on video effects, brightness and contrast, drag that on top of the track and just drag the contrast a bit to the right as you can see and there we have our black background. It's that simple. I'm just going to drag in the intro of this clip to show you guys how to make this like fire like transparent like to remove all the black. Okay, so this is like my intro and what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to make um, You want to have the fire on top So I'm just gonna put the fire on top of that track Then what to do is I'm just gonna drag in my intro like underneath it So it's underneath the fire track as you can see and it's really simple The next thing that you want to do is to make this transparent is we just want this like really simple You would just want to change the compositing mode of, of the top track to make this happen is just want to click on this little green icon this one and you want to put this one to screen Boom. And as you guys can see, I can just th see through the fire. If you say like, dude, the fire is too light. Um, what you want to do is you can just duplicate the track, as you can see, like right here. And then the fire becomes more thick. You can duplicate it like three times. And look, if you pay attention to the fire, like it's getting more intense anytime you duplicate the track. That is how freaking simple it is, guys. You just want to change the compositing mode um, to screen by clicking on this icon and on screen. And if you want to have like your fire like more intense, you can just duplicate the track. And as you can see, boom, the fire gets more like you know like heavier and, and brighter so let's see how it looks it looks really really good and that is basically how you can make the firelight is that simple guys this is just how you add the fire effect and it looks freaking amazing and that is how simple it is guys there's nothing more to tell you so that is how simple it is guys that is how you make a fire effect it's so freaking simple and um that's it for the video guys i want to thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the continued support i'll see you guys tomorrow for two videos of reacting to a video from subscribers actually so i want to thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the continued support and i will see you guys tomorrow Okay, so the first thing is that you don't want to do in your car playing around with your cell phone. Drop comments down below and I'll be more happy to make a video about it. My own clothing line through the description down below. Even if you're not subscribed correctly and quickly, Twitter verification process, you can find a link down below. I'm done with this kind of shit. Opportunity is there. As long as you guys keep watching my videos, I will keep making them.